I'm going to start the Instagram. All right. So happy Friday. We're here. We're healthy. Grab your strap, towel, item, whatever that might be. Get your cycle going. The theme of our workout today is mobility and flexibility. Uh, and this is one of my favorite themes of all the stuff we do, uh, just because I think it's super challenging, also really cool, and a great counterbalance to the strength, the cardio, all the other stuff we do. So not easy, just different. Go ahead and grab your strap, towel, item, whatever it might be, and hold it nice and wide. Create tension. And keeping the arms straight, start to reach all the way up and back. Keep the arms straight the whole time. Bring the arms down and bring it back all the way up and around. And those just joining on Instagram, go ahead and grab a towel, strap, belt, rope, something. We're having a mobility-centric workout. Good. And especially as you bring your arms up and back, you're going to want to bend your elbows. Do your best not to do it. So because I'm bringing my arms up and overhead, we're not actually working on building strength here. Instead, we're just working on mobility. So the range of motion of our limbs in our joints. Let's take one more. All the way up. And back. Bring it back. And pause at the top and hold it. Now grip that towel, strap, whatever you got. Imagine you're pulling it in opposite direction. Pull, pull, pull. Give me eight, seven, punch, six, five. Four, three, two. Drop it back behind you. Pull it in opposite directions, opening up the chest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Bring it forward. Pull. Keep pressing your fists away from your body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Reach the arms up. Big stretch over to the right. Pull it out. Come back through center, big stretch over to the left, and come back through center. All right, so as we do with our bands on, you can go ahead and release the towel, strap, whatever you've got. Our first exercise of the day is for our forearms. I'm going to angle my screen down a little bit so you can see my mat. We're coming down onto the backs of our hands, and the exercise here is to lift your fingers off the floor. So I want to get all the way up to the crease of my wrist down onto the ground. And then we're doing our 40 second interval. Get all 10 fingers off the floor, release them down, pick them up, release them down. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Forearm work up, down, fingers up, down. That's it. And I want you to really focus on getting your fingers as high as you can off the floor and keep spreading them really wide. So I don't want to make a lobster claw. I want to keep my fingers wide, lift them up down, up, down. I'm getting into wrist mobility as well as forearm strength. This has to be like the tiniest range of motion exercise in the world, but you can start to feel it working. Keep those arms nice and straight. Good, last 10. Wrist mobility, forearm strength. Give me five, four, and three. We're going to lift the fingers and hold. Two and one. Lift your fingers, little pulses. Up, up. Keep all 10 of them off the floor. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll the wrist out. Super weird, right? When you come off your wrist, it's going to feel really funky. That's okay. Just only place so much in the hands that it feels safe. Let's do our second set, and then we're going to work into our triceps. So back of the hands on the floor, setting up in good form. Spread the fingers really wide. 40 seconds. Fingers up, fingers down. We are rolling. I actually made this one up today. I was rolling around on the floor in my living room, <laughs> trying to figure out what the heck we could do for our forms that would be different than usual. And I came up with this and I really like it. Awesome, good, half done, lift, lift. Spread your fingers even wider, up, up. Yes, if you need to take some of the weight off the wrist, you can shift your butt back a little bit. Last 10, then we're gonna hold and pull in seven, six, five, Four, three, two, little pulses up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Roll the wrist out. Feels very bizarre. Any kind of wrist mobility stuff always feels like a lot when you come out of it because it's a very small joint. 
All right. Next up for our triceps, we're going to let the wrist bend the other way. It is a reverse plank and reach. So I come into reverse plank position. I drop my butt down and reach over. Drop down and reach. Really working into that bottom arm, using the weight to support the whole body. If you want more of a challenge, keep your butt up the whole time. Just reach and reach. 40 seconds. We're going in three, two, and one. Try not to let your butt drop, hit the floor. You either drop down and reach, or you just hold up the whole time. Reach over and over. So getting into that shoulder mobili mobility, lengthening out the sides of the body as you really fire up the triceps, especially the one that's rooted into the ground. It's a lot of work. Keep your butt up and reach. Yes. Good. Awesome. Last 10. Really lengthening through the fingertips as you get that arm up and overhead. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Give the wrist a break. Shake them out. Good. In 10, we're going to set up for our second one. If you need even more of a challenge today, keep those legs straight. Reach and reach. Your choice. I'm going to keep my knees bent because I've already done this once today. All right, we're going in three, two, and one. 40 seconds up and over. Keep the bottom arm straight, but off the floor. If you want to add speed here, go ahead. But I want you to make sure you're fully extending through that top arm. So take all bend out of the elbow. Good, got some breakdance moves going on today. Awesome. After this, we're gonna give our wrist a break with some bicep curl shoulder rotation. Last 10. Ooh, don't let your butt hit the ground, you can do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake them out, either come onto your knees or up to stand. For our bicep move today, I'm going to curl the arms up towards my shoulders. I rotate out, in, I go down, up, out, in. And I want you to keep pulling your elbows in the whole time you do this to keep tension in the biceps and in the body. All right, so 40 seconds, we're going in four, three, two, and one. I go in, out, in, down, up, out, in. Good. Try not to let the forearms drop below 90 degrees when you lower them down. So still keeping some tension in the biceps. Squeeze those elbows in the whole time. Great. And now see if you can pull your shoulders back even more without letting your spine move. So I'm isolating the shoulder joint. Out. In. Awesome. Last 10 for our second set. If you want to go faster, you can, but this one, just getting used to that movement and making sure that no part of the body moves except the arm. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Clasp the hands, open up the chest. Second set, let's set ourselves up. Elbows in, really squeeze them in. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Up, out, in, down, up, out, in. Keep your core engaged the whole time. The back can't sway as you open up. Awesome. Yeah, option out a little bit of speed here if that feels good. After this, we're going to come back down onto our hands. Out, in, down, up, out, in. Great. Last 15 seconds. Keep those elbows in. Woo, add a little speed here. Why not? Down, up, out, in, down, up, out, out. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're coming into plank position. In plank, I twist over, I reach back, tap hand to heel, come back up. Other side, hand to heel, come back up. I'm working side to side, 
getting my butt all the way back towards my heels and then rising back up. Actually, let's make that one a little bit more challenging. Take your hand to opposite shoulder, drop into it, come back up, opposite shoulder, and twist, okay? So first 40 seconds, we'll start in plank position. We're going in three, two, and one. Hand to opposite shoulder, drop your butt down towards your heels, come back through center release. Switch sides, bring it back, and shift forward. Each time you do it, get your butt further and further back. Awesome. There we go. Nice. Good. So we're working the arms, working the chest, the shoulders. We're getting some core work in here. Last 10. We'll meet in plank in five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, get some movement, the shoulders. And let's set up for our second set. Then we have two more moves. We're gonna get our heart rate up in a mobility-centric way. And then we'll switch our bands out to our legs and have the question of the day. Let's go ahead and make your way back into plank position. Take right hand to left shoulder, drop down and up. Switch sides, down and up. Our 40 seconds is rolling. And it requires balance of the upper body and control. Good. I love it. Keep moving, you guys. Half done. Okay. Last 10. Get your butt all the way back. Good. Give me two more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and oh, my wrist. Roll them out. All right. Next exercise, we're going to give a wrist, our, we're giving our wrist a break coming down onto our forearms. I've got Friday brain trying to talk. And we're going to do shoulder circles in forearm plank along with a Spider-Man knee to elbow. So it looks like this. I'm in forearm plank. I circle around and down, around and down, knee up, knee up, circle, circle, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, okay? So make your way into your forearm plank. I wanna see big old circles, doing our best not to let the body shift and rock. So really isolating the shoulders and the hip joints as we do these moves. 40 seconds, we're going in four, three, two, and one. Circle, circle, get your knee all the way up to your elbow and other side, that's it. Circle, circle, knee to elbow, better yet, tricep, tap, and tap. Good. Keep it up. Oh, these look good. And for these moves, I want us to go slowly and focus on what it is we're actually trying to do. Use our core strength to keep our body stable and use our shoulder mobility to make big circles and our hip strength to get the knees up. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We'll go ahead and drop the knees on the forearms. Before we keep moving, a couple rounds of cat-cow on our forearms to work the spine. As you inhale, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale, navel in, round out. Three more. Inhale, spinal extension. Exhale, spinal flexion. Good, two more. Last one. Good. Make your way back into plank position. Second set. Okay. I want to see straight arms. Time is rolling. Circle. Circle. Knee up. Knee up. Circle. Circle. Straight arms. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Keep going. 
And mobility requires a lot of strength because there are muscles required to move the limbs around in the joints in a controlled manner and not just fling them around. Last 15 seconds. Great job, Instagram. Great job, Zoom. Go, Chris, go. Heck yeah. After this, we'll come up for a sip of water and then we'll do our last move of the day. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab some water, take a quick rest. And I'll demonstrate what I call the wave. And I know it's a lot on the wrist. I'm sorry. Feel free to like bend them around, move them, release them as best you can. Okay. So the wave is a derivative of a yoga move, uh, but it's very indicative of a lot of different kinds of strength, flexibility, and mobility all in one fluid motion. So for the wave, I press my hips up and back. I start to bend into the elbows. Drop your chest towards the floor, come up to the top of the feet, and then tuck your toes, pull yourself up and back. So as you come through it, then the elbows come up, try and drop your chest low as you press yourself up and back, okay? So come on down, make your way into downward facing dog with the hips up. First 40 seconds, and three. Two and one, bend the elbows, get the chest low, drop it down, lift the chest up, tuck the toes, pull yourself right back up into it. And whatever your wave looks like, it doesn't matter. Just keep trying to keep your chest low the whole time you work into it. Mm -hmm. After this, we're gonna use our towel, our strap or our belt to get the heart rate up. And then we'll swap out the band. Cool. And we're only going to go through the wave one time today. You have 20 more seconds. So see if you can push yourself a little bit harder, dropping the chest down to the floor. Great, George. Nice. Easy going down. It's not so easy coming back up. Good. Last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and one, great, everyone come on up. Grab your towel or your item. So our three heart rate boosting moves today are also extreme mobility moves. The first one is a wide arm heel tap. So I want you to find tension in your strap. Gonna angle this up a little bit, there you go. Find tension in your strap, reach it up. Keeping your arms straight the whole time, you go tap, 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 tap. So none of this, keep your arms straight, bring your heel up towards your arm. So I'm doing internal rotation in the hip joint with the leg and I'm working my arms in shoulder extension. Our next 30 seconds is we step really wide. As I bend into my left leg, I drop my right hand down to the floor, come back up, put sides, come back up. So again, my elbows don't bend. I'm keeping the arms straight, opposite hand to floor and switch. Last one, we ditch the strap, lateral lunge, side kick. I stay low, kick, side, kick. Don't let your head bob up and down. Stay really low, kick and kick. So these are funky, different moves, different than the normal like jumping jacks and stuff we do, but they're really good for opening up the body. So the first one, we've got our wide arm heel tap. Extend your arms up and overhead, find tension. Doesn't matter how wide or how narrow it is, as long as you can keep your arms straight. First 30 seconds, hand to heel. We go up, 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 up. There we go. So weird. My elbows are starting to bend. Keep pulling that strap in opposite directions. Up, 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 that's it. If you want to go faster, by all means, go faster. Get your heels all the way up to your hands. Up. There we go. Nice. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Stay stepping wide. Bend into the left knee. Drop the right hand down. Keep pulling the strap. Come back up through center. Switch and center. And I want you actively pulling that strap or that belt or that towel in opposite directions the whole time. If you don't have an item that you're holding on to, 
Just keep reaching your arms straight back behind you. Work through it. Awesome. Half done. Woo. Yes, last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Get your items. Stay low. Side kick, side kick. Last 30 seconds. Good. See if you can get even lower. There we go. Half done. Get those legs up. There we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, that elevated my heart rate. I'm going. All right. Let's swap out our armbands for our leg bands. The question of the day is, what is the most challenging athletic feat you have ever completed? What is the most challenging athletic feat you have ever done? Those on Instagram, feel free to toss it in the comments. And those on Zoom, feel free to unmute or toss it in the chat. Oh, I know that we had some people do some challenging things here, especially George. <laughs> Chris says a Laurel workout. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> I know that that can't be true, but thank you. <laughs> this is my first time in two weeks, so it's challenging. Well, we're also doing mobility today, so it's going to be extra challenging. But it's great to see you, Chris. We missed you, you and your gang. All right. What else have we got? Most challenging athletic endeavor. I'll go. Mine is probably riding a century ride on my bicycle. So doing 100 miles. I did 100 miles one day and then I did 40 miles the next day. And that second day was actually harder after riding 100 miles. So that's mine. Anyone else? The most challenging athletic endeavor. Or playing water polo for four years in high school. That did it too. <laughs> All right. Tucking up the bands. Still got an armband on. I'm curious. I really want to hear one of George's athletic endeavors. All right. Pike. Pike Peak Ascent Race 10 times. That sounds insanely difficult. I don't even know what that is. But I can imagine it's a peak. And you come down it. And you try and go really fast. <laughs> All right, good. Everyone make sure to grab a sip of water. Okay. No, George says you go up 7,800 feet and top out over 14,000. Oh, oh, because it's an ascent, not a descent. Friday brain, see, well, a lot of it today. That's really hard. You Colorado people in your 14ers. That's, that's a league of its own. That's really cool. Uh, Sophia says, any one of our high school polo practices, right? They're horrible. They're so hard. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Now that we got our leg bands on, um, to warm up today, we're going to do a variation of the greatest stretch in the world. So we're coming down into plank position. We only have... Uh, one other plank exercise after this today. I know it's been a lot on the wrist. So I come into plank position. I step my right foot up outside my right hand. I drop my right forearm down to the floor. I want you to get really low. Reach left arm forward. Step back. Step right foot outside right hand. Drop low. Reach the right arm forward. And come back. And the goal here is to get your arms as low to the ground as you can on that reach. And then come back. So feet up arms out. Uh, we're doing 40 seconds. Warm up of this in three, two, and one. Step the right foot up. Drop your forearms down. Reach. Hands down. Plank. Other side. And come back into it. Good. This does not have to be fast. The goal is hip strength and hip mobility. And as you do it, you might notice that it gets a little bit easier to get the forearms lower and lower as you continue. 
Last 10. Good. Give me two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Drop the knees. Draw some big circles with the hips in one direction. Move them around the other direction. And come back through center for a second set. Go ahead and step back into plank. I'm gonna toss my, my tubes out of the way. They're hindering my athletic endeavors. There we go. All right, come back into plank, second set. Right foot outside, right hand, get it all the way up. Drop low, reach the right arm forward. Step back, left foot, drop low, left arm forward and step back, keep going. Awesome. Hip-centric variation of greatest stretch in the world. See if you can get your chest a little bit closer to the floor each time you drop into it. Nice, Chris, there you go. Last 20 seconds, working on getting that foot up a little bit higher, great. Let's see if we can get both forearms down to the floor. I know it's hard. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Grab some water, take a quick sip. Um, I think that this next exercise that we're doing is the hardest one of the day. Um, it might not look fluid, it might not look pretty, but that's why we're doing it, is to continue to challenge ourselves so we can grow more mobile and more strong. So it is a side lunge kick variation. So I step my feet wide, just watch. I bend into that knee, get my butt all the way down to the ground, kick my leg up, over, press back up. I come down to the other side, kick my leg up, over, and press back up to stand, okay? It's gonna be hard. If you need to use your hands, use your hands. Try not to, but I'd rather use your hands and get all the way down than not do it at all. So let's work into this one together. We're gonna to start in five, four, three, and two. So bend into the left knee, get your butt all the way down, however that requires. Extend that leg forward, kick it over, up, root the foot to the floor, back up to stand. Other side. Drop your butt down, extend your right leg forward, kick it over, up, into the floor, and rise. Keep going side to side. I want to at least see everyone try. Nice. And if you can't get even close to doing this today, great. You have something to work into something to look forward to. Good. Last 15 seconds. Give me 10. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, how do we feel about that one? <laughs> All right. Well, good, because we're going to do it again. Take your hands to your hips, circle them around. And that's one of those things, we've talked about this a number of times, I am not a naturally flexible, circle around the other way, or a mobile person, it's just been practice. Over and over and over again. All right, let's take our second set. This time we're gonna start over to the right. Step the feet wide, 40 seconds. Bend into the right leg, get your butt down. Extend that leg out, bring it up, over, root it into the floor, and rise back up, switch sides, keep moving. And you might notice that one side is easier than the other. Totally normal. Woo, big old kicks. Use your core. There we go. Awesome. We are half done. Keep working into it. I'm going to check in and see how everyone's doing. Great job, Instagram. Good job, Sam. <laughs> After this, we're going to get our heart rate out. Nice tie. Good. 
Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. I saw everyone trying and that's all I care about. Grab your towel, your strap, your item. Reach up and overhead, take your arms wide. Keep your arms straight the whole time. I'm gonna double this up so I'm not hitting myself. Keep your arms straight, hand to heel. Here we go, 30 seconds. Up, 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 up. Get your foot to your arm. Now I'm starting to bend my elbows, don't do that. Up, up, keep the arms straight the whole time. Internal hip rotation, shoulder extension. Lift, lift. The tighter you grip your strap, the narrower, the harder it is. Keep punching those fists away from you the whole time. Pull that strap in opposite direction. Awesome, last 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it wide. As you bend into the left knee, drop the right hand down. Rise up, switch sides, and up. Keep pulling. Woo. There we go. I need to take a narrower grip. Over, up, over, up. Yeah. If it's easy, narrow grip. Great. Last 10. Give me three more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ditch that item. Bend into the knees. Stay low. Shift the weight over to the right. Kick. Side kick. Last 30 seconds. Make it more challenging, get even lower. Awesome. Now we did the hardest exercise of the day. Now we get to keep playing. Last 10, get those legs all the way up, boom. Yes, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab water, take a breath. Okay. Next up, we are doing what I call roll, roll, sit, stand. Yes, I made that name up because I couldn't think of anything better. So I start on my bed, I start seated. I'll demonstrate and then we'll do it together. I roll, roll, either come up to sit, butt off the floor, or even better, come all the way up to stand, back down. I roll. Roll, either sit, butt off the floor, or stand. Okay, so let's start seated. 40 seconds in four, three, two, and one. Roll, roll. Get your butt off the floor, whichever one you do. Ideally, come on up to stand, keep going. Leg control, core control. Ty, you're making it easy. If you wanna jump, add a jump. Yes, woo, amazing. Yeah, try not to use your hands to prop yourself up. Guys, you are smashing this one. I didn't know how we would do, but it looks great. Seven, six, give me one more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Great job, great, great job. Let's release the back for a moment. Hands down the legs. Find an arch in your back. And then give the legs a pedal. So whenever we do a lot of rounding of the spine, we want to let the spine bend the other way, especially when we're working on mobility, which involves the spine as well. All right. This next set, we're going to start standing. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Make your way down. Roll. Roll. And come up. If you want to make it even more challenging, don't let your legs, don't let your hands touch your legs. Up, keep it up. Amazing. Oh, Ty, good, great, George. Amazing. Sophia and Cindy look good, yes. Sometimes as a group, we have our like cumulative exercise that everyone is just amazing at. Today is this, is this one. Chris, keep rolling. <laughs> Last seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and hop on up to stand. All right, next up, we're incorporating some balance and mobility work. So grab your towel strap or belt. By the way, guys, you're doing so well. I know that this is all really new and kind of different stuff than we normally do. And you're doing so great. Okay, so we're gonna take what we've got around the arch of the right foot and you're gonna pull the right knee into the chest as much as you can. So maybe that looks like this and maybe that looks like this, but I want you to try and get it up as high as you can. Okay, so working into that balance. Now the move here is 40 seconds. I go out and in, out and in. And the more, the tighter you grip this, the straps, the towel, the harder it's gonna be. And that's what I wanna see you do is kick higher and higher. 40 seconds, we're going. Out and in. The higher you can get that leg, the better. Woo, that's it. Be patient with yourself. If you don't have a strap or a towel or anything, grab your shoelaces. Great. Oh, I see some tipping. And I want to see tipping because that means we're pushing ourselves. And I like that. We'll try. Last 10. Okay. Give me one more good one. Four, three, two, and one. So have no fear. We're going to do the second leg. And then we're going to work through that one again. Um, I noticed what I was sensing was a little bit of frustration with the balance. If you can't get your balance, pause, hold it, work the balance before you do anything else. So work on getting nice and stable. And the rest of the move is just kind of the afterthought. So let's work into the second side. My weight shifts into my right foot. I take my item around the arch of my left foot. Now maybe you're working on balancing here and you're going out and in, right? Otherwise you can go out and in or you can go out and in, but I don't care, okay? Pick what works and move through it. Ready? 40 seconds, let's go. Good. Woo! If you're not shaking and rocking a little bit, that means you're probably not challenging yourself enough. Great. Oh, so good. Now notice if our spine is kind of uh, compensating, keep it straight. Mm -hmm. We are half done. Now, is this mobility or flexibility? We're going to answer after this set before we do our next one. Last 10. Use your core to help get that leg even higher for five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, give me your answers. You got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Is this mobility or flexibility? I almost want to tell George you can't answer, but I'll, George, I'll let you answer. You're good, you're good. <laughs> no other guesses? George says mobility. Actually, this is flexibility. And this is flexibility because we are working on actively taking a muscle from contracted to lengthened. And that's the hamstring. We're contracting, we're lengthening. But it's what we call active flexibility. So there's passive stretching, like we take our forward fold and we hang. And there's active stretching. And this is the latter. We're actively forcing length into the hamstring. All right, let's do it one more time. Shift your weight into your left foot. Take whatever you've got around the arch of your right foot. So my hamstring's contracted. And 40 seconds, here we go. My hamstring is lengthened. Contracted, lengthened. Keep kicking that heel up and up a little bit higher each time you do it. Now there's a tendency to kind of arch into the back. Keep your spine straight so that you're working your hamstring instead of just rounding your spine. Good, awesome. You can always do this with shoelaces. You can also always do this just by grabbing your own foot if you have the flexibility. 
Woo, nice. Awesome. Last 10. Then we have one more lower body exercise. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. Take what you've got around the arch of your left foot. If you want more of a challenge, you can ditch that item entirely and just use your hands. 40 seconds, ready, set, here we go. Up and in. Up and in. Now I'm also building strength, a lot of strength in the standing leg. Takes balance. It takes core control. Yes, Chris, awesome. So good. Good. Think of this as a core exercise. So using those muscles to help stabilize the body. Great, George. Last 15 seconds. See if you can get that leg even straighter, fully driving the heel away from you. Give me 10. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Last lower body exercise of the day. I'm starting in plank position. I step, so we practice a variation of this one with our warm up. I step my right foot up, my left foot up, hands together, pulse, pulse the knees open, hands to the ground, either step or jump back. You can step or jump up, knees in, pulse, pulse, hands down, either step or jump back, okay? Making sure as you come up, your butt's off the ground, press, press, getting into the hips, external hip rotation. This is our last lower body one of the day. We're gonna set up in plank. Time is rolling in three, two, and one. So hop those feet out, butt's off the floor, press, press, hands down, either step or jump back. And the goal here is to get your feet as high up as you can towards the hands. Nice tie. Try not to let your butt hit the ground. Oh, these look so good. Nice, Chris. I don't care if you step or your jump. Press, press knees open and come back. Mm -hmm. Last 10, keep moving through it. Six, give me one more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. All right, we've got one more set of those. And then we take our final stretches of the day. Go ahead and step your feet back into plank. 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Either step or hop up. Pulse, pulse, hands down, step or hop back. Up, pulse. Pulse, hands down, jump it or step it back. Last one. Good. All right, have done. Last 20 seconds, bring it home. Get those feet all the way up. Launch, yes. Give me seven, six, one more, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come on up to stand. Awesome job today, guys. I know it was a lot of funky stuff, but we did really great. Um, for our flexibility, we're going to get into our IT band. So find your right foot and step it over your left foot. And you can wiggle the feet around, take up as much space as you want. And I want you to bend the knees so much that you can get your fingertips in contact with the floor. From here, work the legs as straight as you can without letting your fingertips lift, and then re-bend. So I'm going up and down, up and down. If you can get your palms to the floor, that's great. But some part of your hand has to stay in contact with the floor. We've got 30 seconds. Work towards straight. Rebend. Up and down. Active flexibility. Good. 
the last five, four, three, two, and one. Roll on up. Let's work into the other side, this time crossing left leg over right. Bend into the knees, get your fingertips or some part of your hands in contact with the floor. 30 seconds, here we go. We bend, straighten as much as you can. Bend and up. Great. Awesome, last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it slowly. Good, step the feet really wide. Bend into your knees, drop your butt down towards the floor. And we're going to do an active range of motion. This is kind of an exercise, kind of a stretch. I want you to work on dropping alternate knees towards the floor. 30 seconds. Then we're gonna take our last stretches of the day. Good, nice and slow, working on getting those knees down. And this is gonna be one of our main exercises next week. So we're getting a little sneak peek preview. Internal rotation of the hip joint. Good. Now try and do it keeping the hip bones facing forward as much as you can. Good, 10. Good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend into alternating knees, rock it out. Take the right hand down the right thigh, big side body stretch up and over, release everything. Keep reaching the left fingertips away from the body. And come back to center. Left hand, left leg, reach that right arm all the way up and over, breathe into it. Relax the ear, the shoulder. And come back up through center. Reach both arms up. Hook the thumbs. Imagine you're pulling your fingertips in opposite directions. Six, five, four, three, two. Switch them. Pull them. Six, five, four, three, two. Release the thumbs. Give yourself a round. Great job. Happy Friday, everyone. Please uh, help us continue to join us both on the Instagram live and send the new link out to those that we know. Uh, we had an interesting day yesterday. We'll keep on moving forward and working out together. So have Thank a nice you. weekend. Hey, Laurel, can you stay on for 10? Do you have two minutes? Yeah. Okay, Steve, can you stay? Yeah.